Saskatine attacked his father and brother with a knife after an argument with his girlfriend. Just six months later, then 17-year-old Kirk Gunderson committed suicide in the La Crosse County Jail. News 19's Dustin Lukey has more on how friends and family are trying to make sure this doesn't happen again. It's been nearly five years since the Gunderson family lost their son, Kirk. So we're trying to make the most of every day that we can. Some days it's easier, other days it's really tough. A series of events culminated with the 17-year-old taking his own life in prison. Now, those close to him are working to make sure other communities don't have to suffer the same fate. Kirk's mother, Vicki, helped bring the first annual Campaign for Youth Justice Run Walk to Alaska. The 5K promotes awareness in an effort to keep children out of adult prisons. I had no clue that in Wisconsin and very few other states, they mandate that you go to jail at 17. Like the Gundersons, Mario Streets knows firsthand how prison can affect young people. Streets also went to jail at age 17. When well, you're still looking up to people, you're still looking for guidance, you know, and at the beginning there at that time, uh, it's mostly negative guidance, you know, because a lot of 99% of the people that are in jail aren't trying to, aren't looking to change. Streets survived his trying times and through his music hopes to teach people about the dangers of incarceration before it's too late. I tell people that they can do it, you know, and you can change no matter what you've been through, you know, and I do that through my music. That's my passion and that's how I deliver my message. More than just an effort to raise awareness, this is a time for a community to come together to remember someone they lost. After all the shows.